Yo right, guys, how are you all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing the best in model kit reviews. I'm back here again with another uh, vlog for you. So this is vlog number 175. And this is the SMS Dresden build, part one, guys, part one. And before I get started, guys, um, I'm just going to run down some new subscribers on my channel. So we've already covered these ones in the last ones, but I'll still give them a shout out anyway. Um, so we've got Emergency785. We've got Frankie Goes to Hobbywood, excellent name. <laughs> we've got 666 Mike Rochip, we've got Jeff 737500, we've got Marcel, we've got Mark C, um, we've got Davy L, we've got John Jolly and Webby NZ. And I'd like to give a special shout out to Simon Collins, Cy Collins, uh, my sister's boyfriend. Um, joined onto the channel, so welcome, Sai. Um, loving the new bike, by the way. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, and I'll put you down in the list uh, for the year four hundred, guys. So thank you very much for coming on to my channel, guys. Uh, there's going to be a lot more new content coming on soon. So you know, like I always say, please subs please keep subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're uploaded. So, well, you keep uploaded every time I do an upload. Um, so you'll be reminded. <laughs> um, also, guys, new to my channel is RC. Um, I'm thinking about doing RC. It's coming on the cards very, very soon. I'm thinking about getting my first helicopter um, very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that one. There's going to be more gaming videos too, guys. So I'm going to you know, do some more video games. I know that I've got Battle Stations Midway to do and Battle Stations Pacific. And also... Um, I've got a few more levels to do on uh, Damage Inc as well, I believe I'm at Wake Island on there, um, so I'm going to get them ones done for you. And as a special treat guys, um, I just want you to hit down in the notifications in the um, in the comments section. And basically guys, what I want you to do is just put down in the comments section, what would you want to see from my channel? Um, it could be anything, just give me some ideas on what you want um, and just let me know about it and I'll see if I can do it for you guys. Whether it's uh, building models or whether it's doing something really, really good. Um, I just want to know what, from a perspective of what you want. And I'll see if I can do that one for you guys. I'm really, really intrigued to know. So, just put it down in the comments, guys. Also, guys, the A400M Atlas giveaway. Um, that's still on the cards. So, get your comments down. And all you've got to do is put down how long you've uh, been on my channel for. What got you into modelling and what you like about my channel. And it's that simple, guys. Um, it could be you who wins. And I'm going to put, put down all your um, names. And I'm going to reveal the winner by the 2nd of August. Uh, once I've gone through all the list and everything. So it could be you uh, who wins. And I, I wish you all the very best of luck, guys. Also, when you get the A400, I personally want to see you build that model as well. So I'll be looking on your channel. And don't forget to send me the notifications over and... Um, I want to see you build it. Um, that'd be really good. Also, the runners-up uh, will get a prize as well. Um, so I'm going to count it down to like six people who have come close in the run-ups, and you're going to get like either a Spitfire or a Hurricane or something along those lines. So you will get something. Um, sorry to say that some of the people um, might not get a gift, as I can't really um, afford to send overseas. Um, like. To USA and I do really really apologize to that guys I really really do I don't want you to unsubscribe from me maybe in the future I might be able to send you something so um, that's definitely on the cards if you all want to follow me um, go to my Twitter it's www.twitter.com forward dash at Mike MK44 that's Mike MK44 and it's DJ Xtreme with an X 2018 on Instagram if you want to follow me on there so guys that's out the road and this out the road so this is what we're starting with so we've got two beautiful ships here as you can see both very very nice the so world war one like cruisers um the 100 uh, well the one by 350 scale so they are quite they're, they're all right they're not overly massive but they're all right and uh, they're coming at 33.9 centimeters which is nice i do like that um, and they're really really nice ships. So I'm going to start with the Dresden first, which I believe is this one And then I'm going to do the Emden after it and you can see the, the very beautiful ships uh, Maybe I can put them in dioramas, which is 
also awesome. This is an end loader box, so it opens from the side, it doesn't open from the uh, top as I like it. This is a level 4 kit as well, so it's quite a good kit actually, I like it. And I like some of these, I'm thinking about doing a U-Boat eventually. Um, obviously Titanic's on the on the rise as well, I'm thinking about getting that. Um, so keep an eye out guys, just uh, keep an eye out. So let's get this kit out of the way and we'll uh, see what we can do as the first part of So get that part out and we get the blue cut out. Also guys, this comes with rigging as well. Um, so there we've got the rigging, which is pretty neat. So I'm just going to put that down at the bottom there and we're going to see what we can do with this awesome ship. Um, there, start with Dresden first, right, so, right, we've got the first part of somewhere, just crease that a little bit just so I know where I'm at, uh, put the rigging over there, up the road, and just, uh, get these out, um, got my sister coming soon, so I'm trying to go a bit quick, because I don't really want to, uh, you know, the, the aggro, <laughs> because I know that the doorbell will go off and it will upset the video and stuff like that. And then, you know, got my work desk got all over the place, all, all bits everywhere, you know. I've got me scissors, I've got everything else in there. Sad thing is, guys, is my, um, the metal nib that's inside of here, it's decided to, you know, break on me. Um, so I don't know how that's happened. But what I like to do with that, is if it if the glue goes in this little thing there, what I like to do is just see if I can bend it with the uh, scissors. These ones are old anyway. I don't really necessarily use these ones, so that's all I do. Take that out, scissors back down, and then I uh, just put the nib back in, and then we'll test it out. And there we go. Perfect. Nice uh, glue residue on my fingers there. <laughs> So, now then, we've got the base here which looks very, very nice. It's got some wood grain on it, which I do like. The, the wood grain is actually embedded in the plastic, so you have to look and tilt it with your eye to, in order to see it. So, that came off fairly easy. <laughs> right. Let's uh, get this done. Dusted. So, these little niggly bits here, I like to just peel them off a little bit like that. Just to get a little bit of thing going there, get a little bit of niceness going. Because you don't, that's the last thing you want is it to look untidy. I, I hate models that look untidy. And they always like them to look nice. So now I've got a little bit of ladder bit there, so I'll just put that over there. Don't worry. So now what it's saying is I have to put these uh, things on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the hull over there. And I'm going to start with. One of these, so it's not that one. I'll just put that over there. I'll tell you what, I'll put that over there. <laughs> um, right. So we have got mark 34 and 33, so I need to look 34 and 33, and right, I think it's on number M on the sprue. So let's see. I don't think it's on that one. Um, look on this one see if it's on here. I don't think it's on here either. Where are you? <laughs> I believe it is on here somewhere and I'm not looking properly. <laughs> Which uh, sort of adds up to it because I bet I'm not looking properly either. Um, so it's got a bit sticking out so I don't think it's them. Um, no. um, there we are, found them. I knew I wasn't looking properly. Right. <laughs> it's normally the case for me. Uh, normally it takes me a while to find them on the sprue and then I finally find them and then I'll take away. Hey, he's got them at last. So, done that. Done that. Right. So, let's uh, see where these, see where these go then, shall we? Um, I think they go just here. Yep. Right. 
So what you want to do is just glue down here. Make sure you get some glue. You don't want to put too much on, just a bit. You know, always put a bit on. You don't want to put too much. And you end up just sticking that down there, which is fine. And then put some there. Put some that there, which is also fine. Make sure you get a nice seal. Nice, uh, nice stick to it. And there we have it guys, there's the front part just there, which is not bad at all, I like it. And I'm going to get the big stuff now, so here's the big bits that I need, so I'm going to put those on. So this is just like the first part of guys, so I'm going to take this video up maybe about 20 minutes or so, just to show you what I'm going to be doing, and I'll do another review of it in the next couple of videos. So don't worry about that guys, it's just the first parter. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, welcome to my lovely channel. I hope to get better with uh, this channel guys, so you know I'm <coughs> going to be doing some better reviews. Obviously I can't wait to do the, um, the RC stuff, as I know it's quite a lot of people like RC. So, I mean I've had a few RC cars in my past life, I've had uh, like... You know, in my, in my past life. <laughs> I mean, in, in my younger days, um, I had uh, um, some RC cars. Um, I don't even know why I said past life, man. <laughs> I've just made, made, just made myself laugh there. <laughs> God, I'm not with it today. I'm not with it. I haven't had my coffee or anything, so... Sorry about that, guys. You know, lack of sleep. Uh, been having some sleep problems lately guys and it's not good so I'm gonna have to go to the doctors about that um, don't know what it is really um, but hope to get it sorted out so as you can see there's that at the bottom there with that covered and I've got to say it looks really really nice guys it's really really nice and as I was saying guys about that RC car there um, I had one when I was younger and I loved it a bit but uh, sadly I crashed it in and it flew into uh, the swimming pool and I couldn't uh, fix it and my uncle couldn't fix it so yeah um, sadly to say um, that was the last RC car that I had um, I have had some helicopters before um, but I've only had the little ones um, and what I did was I made the mistake of flying it in the house and uh, I flew it into the light and it just flew it, ju it just smashed it just came off and smashed on the floor and i was a bit gutted about it but it was my fault for doing it in the first place <laughs> so don't fly your helicopters in the house don't do what i did guys <laughs> just in case you uh you have a load of aggro especially off uh, either your mother or your sister so just take them outside guys <laughs> And you won't get shot with that. Let's put that in there. So there's that one there, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of a holder there, so you can put the uh, mast on, which is pretty neat. Actually, I like that. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking perfect. That it's looking really nice. Um, obviously, I've got to put some other parts on there, so I've got. The um, the bits that um, really anchor anchors in. Um, then I've got to put some decals on by the looks of it. Um, I'm I'm just thinking that I might get some um, photo etch for this. Um, just just on the basis that you know on top of the funnels. So you've got you've got the three funnels there, and once I put these funnels on, you've got these little toppers here, and I just think they'd look so good if they were gold. You know. Gold plated like those um, photo wedge thing, photo wedges. I think it's really really cool, that guys. Um, so uh, that was the first part. I know you probably wanted to see a little bit more than that, but uh, my sister's due to come any minute soon, and I don't really want her to ring the doorbell and you know spoil the video. So <laughs> um, the next part is the um, the bridge. So, I'm going to do the bridge, put those levels on. Now I've got to put the gun turrets on, and then the wonderful funnels go on after that. So, guys, 
Uh, I'll leave that on the second part of the Dresden build. I'm glad you all came along and watched the video. Um, giving your time out, it's it's so grateful, guys. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing like you've been doing. It, honestly, guys, it means so much to me. Even if I had 50 subscribers, it would mean the world to me. You know, you just can give up your time and watch my videos. It's fantastic, guys. So, thanks very much for that. Um, stay tuned for more content coming up soon. Like I said, if you want to see anything from my channel, if you want to see any different videos, just let me know what you want from my channel, guys. Put it in the comment below, and I'll see what I can do for you guys. And just remember, I do this for you as well as myself. Um, and I wish you all a very nice day. It's lovely sunny weather out, and... Um, you know, hope you're all having lovely barbecues in this weather and, you know, just enjoying life. So, I'll see you all in the next video, guys, that I do, the uh, SMS Dresden Part 2. Um, and I can, I'll see if I can do some other videos um, in the future, maybe. Uh, see if I can do some more um, gaming videos for you. Or some RC stuff. Definitely do some of that RC stuff for you guys. And... Um, Thanks very much for watching, so take care of yourselves guys, bye now.